Hey, what's going on, everybody? Long time no see. Welcome back to the channel. We're going to be going over Jita's moveset today. Now, of course, I usually do this on stream with you guys, but last night I was up all night editing videos and I wasn't able to stream. So here I am on camera, off stream, going over the moveset with you guys and up just uploading it to YouTube. Now, we're going to be going over it just like we normally do. We're going to go over the movesets. We're going to be reading the translations on Grand Blue EN because it's a very proper form of English compared to, you know, Google Translate. And of course, going over the impressions of the moveset and the character as a whole. And we're going to be comparing her to Grand actually. It's trying to see if we can somehow get an idea as to how she good she's going to be or how much better or worse she's going to be to Grand. Without further ado, let's get started. Let's get into her moveset. Yeah! Alrighty, everybody, here we are in the Jita page right here. We got the moveset pulled up and I got the translations pulled up so we can get some actual nice descriptions for the moves. Let's get right into it. The first ability is going to be, of course, her fireball. And this is Reagan Lave, which is no stranger to us. Gran has it. She has pretty much Gran's entire toolkit, except for a few differentiations, which we'll read into later. But the first one's going to be, of course, Reagan Lave. The, uh, it's a projectile, essentially, of course. The light version travels slowly, the triangle version travels faster, and then the heavy version hits three times, and it's plus on block, essentially. So, same exact thing as uh, Grant's. So, there's nothing new here for us. Uh, the second ability, or I guess it's a follow-up ability, or something, an attribute to, to her uh, fireball. Basically, it's a charged version of Reagan Lave. It has two hits, which allows it to go through most other projectiles. The heavy version has a has a hitbox while she is charging the projectile. That is super cool. So basically it means that she can charge it now. And we saw this in the trailer. She was charging it and then she can release it for two different hits. Now I want to get some more confirmation as to if when she's charging it she can absorb other projectiles. If she can do that, that would be freaking way better than Grant's. And more than more than likely that is what the case is. However, automatically because she can charge it and has two different hits that automatically makes it way better than grand's grand's uh, the only thing close to what uh she has uh to two hitting a two hitting projectile is basically his medium version which is uh, a uh, it has a hitbox when it starts off and then of course he throws out his projectile right afterwards which can be inconsistent uh, depending on timing and such but this right here basically guarantees that it will nullify or if it will go through a projectile and then some and it'll just keep going for that second hit so this is super good already her fireball is way better than grand's so that's good to know there's that let's go into her third ability which is rising a sword it's an invulnerable anti-air technique its description is exactly the same as grant the l version the medium version are air unblockable at the start while the heavy version is air unblockable for the first two rising sword animations that's cool. It's it, the exact same thing as Grant's. Now, I didn't see if her rising sword is actually double hitting. Oh, wait a minute. So it is. Okay, okay. First two rising sword animations. So it seems like she is going to be having like a Shoryu Ripa. Because from what I understand from the translation, it said it's air unblockable for the first two rising sword animations. Which means that it's both the first rising sword and then the second rising sword. The Shoryu Ripa. Anyways, uh, we still haven't gotten visual confirmation of that yet though. Anyways, let's go into the next moves, which is going to be Vorpal Blade. The two, it's two advancing slashes. The light version comes out quickly while the triangle version is slower, but reaches further and it's safer on block. Follow-up attacks can be performed after it. That is cool. This is basically what is uh, Grant's boot. So instead of a boot, they gave her Vorpal Blade which is a double hitting slash. And of course the EX version, we saw it in the trailer where she slashes away and then she launches them up in the air. That is something that is very different from Grant. I don't know if it's better, more than likely not. It depends on if she can convert it in mid screen. If she can convert it mid screen, that's good. But if not, then we can consider this Grant's win. So that's definitely something that uh, we have to look into when the character comes out. So that's Vorpal Blade. A more physical slashing technique. After that, we have unique action, which is overdrive surge. Now, this is the same exact, the, the same exact name as the boot, but it's a different animation. It's her unique attack too. It's not a, a command move. 
It's an axe kick that works similarly to Grand's Power Raise unique action. Even though it has the same name as his boot, it can be charged up to 5 levels. And on the 5th level of charge, it has Invul Frames. Wow, that is actually kind of neat. Now, I one thing I'm wondering is because we know that this is her, uh, her unique action and she has to charge it up, I wonder if you have to charge it up to be able to get a ground bounce like the one we saw in the trailer. That is something that I'm, wor I'm worried about because if you do have to charge up uh, Overdrive Surge to be able to get the ground bounce or the, yeah, the ground bounce after the anti-air, then that might be a little bit less good as I thought. Now, if you can make this plus, then this is really good, or at least safe on block. Either or, it works the same way as uh, Grand's unique drive, unique action. So let's see, we'll see what happens with this move. I feel like this is overall not as good as Grand's, unless this is like an overhead, that'd be ridiculous. But either or, we'll see when the character comes out. I'll do my speculations a little bit later. Next, let's take a look at her Skybound art. And this is something that I'm going to be talking a lot of to let you guys know what's going on for those of you who are not familiar with Grand Blue Fantasy or Deadly Rave. I'll let you guys know right now. But this is our Skybound art, the power up 10. It has some invo on simple input. It will unleash Regan Lave Azimuth, the Conqueror of Eternal Skin uh, Super. When hit close with technical input, you can Reagan Lave Zenith from any hit. And then it goes into the input, the, the translation, of course. Now, here's the thing with this. Let me take a, a step back. Not explain what the move is, but what the lore behind this is. So here's the thing. Gran and Jita both have the ability to be able to unleash the power of the Eternals. Now, what's an Eternal? An Eternal is basically a master. Nobody can contest them at their specific weapon. It's a crew of 10 people who are masters of these weapons. There's the, the dagger, the gun, the, the katana, the staff, the gauntlet, the harp, all that stuff. They're masters of it. Now, you can get these in the actual mobile game, not by paying money, but by grinding a freaking, like, you're grinding your ass off and farming for it. This is not something that's to be taken lightly. This is something that takes months and months and months and months of achieving. Now, if you do achieve to get all 10 eternal weapons in the Mobage, you get granted a very special skin. Basically, uh, the Conqueror of Eternal skin. Now, with this Conqueror of Eternal skin, you get a specific moveset. You get a cool looking special, oh, so on and so forth. That's what the lore behind this is. Now, here's the thing with this super in particular. This is not a regular super where you input the uh, the super and that's it, done. You get your damage. This is a super where you have to continuously press buttons for you to be able to get the entire thing. To get max damage, you have to be able to achieve a specific button combination. I'll tell you that right now. The button combination is LL, MM, HH, LMH, and then 214 or quarter circle back unique button. Now it's a pretty simple input, but you have to be able to get it for you to be able to get the full animation. All right. And if you do it on simple input, then you get your regular Reagan Lave Azimuth, which is basically just the regular super. What we saw from the trailer, she pulls out the freaking Hadouken and then she unleashes it or the Kamehameha or whatever the case. If you do this on technical input, however, you get Reagan Lave Zenith. What this means is that Jita will go Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan. <laughs> and do this actual input. This is the prize, or this is the achievement you get for conquering all 10 weapons. You get this sick looking Super Saiyan blue color that is uh, basically just a a, 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 a a trophy for your hard work. And we get to actually see it with Jita. Gran gets to be left out in versus. Jita gets all the sick looking aesthetics from being a main character in Grand Blue Fantasy. This is a really, really cool addition. There's only one problem I have with this. It's gonna take forever. <laughs> what I mean by that is that, man oh man, the supers in this game are already as long as they are. This is going to be the longest super in the entire game. And not just any super, this is her regular super. I would understand if this is her super scart, but this is just a regular scart, which means we're going to be seeing this quite a bit. So that's the only issue I have. Other than that, I can't wait to see her in Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan form. I'm excited. 
But that is all the information you need for this super. Just the more you know, you know. Now, last but not least, we're going to go over her super scart, which is called, uh, of course, our Skyfall. Or Great Catat... I don't know. I'm going to... It says Skyfall here. We're going to go ahead and go into this super. So it's an advancing attack that goes slightly upward as well, in contrast to Grant's projectile super scart. If it hits properly, the attack finishes with Proto Bahamut, which is basically just a super crazy version of Proto Bahamut and with Gran. It's basically the exact same super, but just told in a different aspect. And I'm wondering if there's going to be more things done. As you can, as you saw from the trailer, we actually saw her falling from the sky, reaching out for Lyria. So I'm wondering if she's literally going to obliterate everything. <laughs> Compared to Gran, where, you know, they're still on the ground, yada, yada, yada. I'm wondering if Jita will literally just, nothing's there. <laughs> and they're falling through the, through the freaking sky. So I'm wondering if that's going to be the case. Either or, this is going to be really cool. And that's pretty much all of Jita's moves. From what I can see with Jita, all right, let's go over the impressions super quick. Jita seems to be a very, just in terms of special moves, she seems to be a very, very much a clone of, of Gran. She has different variations, a different looking DP, a much better utility fireball, and of course different things such as her overdrive surge being not a boot, but an axe kick and move to her unique action. And we have a new move, which is the double blade or the, the, the blade special move that it reminds me a lot of Narmaya's Kagura stance um, rushing attack. It's very similar to that. And of course we got the addition of a deadly rave type super. Now the reason we call it deadly rave, you're going to hear this term a lot. Jita, with her super, where you have to continuously press buttons, it's called the Deadly Rave. Now, this originated from a character called Geese back in King of Fighters or Streets of... I can't remember what it's called. But one of his supers is called Deadly Rave, where he basically just goes crazy. Just starts hitting you, punching you, kicking you, throwing you all over the place. And this super required the continuous button mashing or b continuous button you know button pressing essentially so that's where you're going to be hearing deadly rave from a lot because it's just a generalization of what her super is like there's no other super really like her uh, like it uh it's like i said it originated from geese and geese is the only one that really holds the title to having those kind of supers so now jita has one so you're going to be hearing it as deadly rave there you go the more you know anyways like i said uh with having deadly rave and having these very different variations of grand's moves she could be better but she could be worse. I'm not saying that she's going to be bad either, but I'm saying she might be worse than Gran because Gran has more utility to his tool set compared to Jita's. However, I'm not going to count her out. That, uh, that, that slash attack and that overdrive sir, that axe kick can still surprise us when she comes out. And I'm sorry, but I think Jita's way cooler than Gran too. <laughs> so I can't rule her out just yet. I'm definitely going to be playing her. I can't wait to start performing Deadly Rave combos on people. And, of course, I can't wait to try her out. Uh, her, her, Of course, her button looks very similar, but at the same time look very different. If that makes it, Excuse me, hiccups. If that makes sense. Nonetheless, I, uh, what do you guys think? What do you guys think of Jita? What do you guys think of her tool set? Do you guys, are you guys going to try her out? Do you think she's going to be an exact clone for Gran? Or do you think she's actually going to be somewhat different? A lot of people have been drawing uh, parallels to Ryu and Sakura. So Sakura is Jita, Ryu is Gran. So uh, same tool set, but just very variating, you know, differences between the tool sets. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. If you guys like the video, please like the video. It really does help out a lot. Subscribe to the channel for more Grand Fantasy Versus, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, guys.